multiple drugs, lots of booze, and dancing. Stunning claims and new surveillance video in the Aaron Hernandez murder trial. This was a big day in court today. Prosecutors saying Hernandez had a carefree attitude just hours before the murder, and they say they have witnesses and the video to prove it. Our Christina Hager is inside the courtroom for all of this, and she's joining us live now from Fall River tonight. Christina? Well, Paula, this is all part of a timeline prosecutors have put together of Hernandez's movements in the hours and the moments leading up to Odin Lloyd's murder. So much of it is caught on surveillance video, and this clip is particularly memorable. Hands in the air, Aaron Hernandez as if he's feeling no pain less than an hour and a half before Odin Lloyd's murder. A few days later, his hands would be down in ink for police booking prints. Right palm of Mr. Hernandez. Jurors also got a view of the bar tab that may have fueled Hernandez's gas station dance. $99 on 11 shots of Hennessy cognac. $112 more on a list of other drinks this gang downed. And the bar manager here at Providence's South Street Cafe testified Hernandez, who was then a Patriots star tight end, was smoking marijuana outside the restaurant. I asked them to put it out. Two hours later, Hernandez gassing up in Boston. Here, he's with different friends, alleged accomplice Carlos Ortiz in the frame, Hernandez in the white hoodie, police later searched his closet for, but could not find. Inside, Hernandez scans the candy aisle, grabs the kind of blue bubble gum prosecutors later found stuck to a bullet casing in the car he rented. The car with tires that matched tracks a state trooper took photos of around Lloyd's body. The car like the one in this video, where a carefree Hernandez seems a world away from where he sits today. And as prosecutors continue to put together this timeline for jurors, they plan to call some representatives from a phone company to testify tomorrow to talk about Hernandez's locations from cell phone pings and his communications through text messages. At the Fall River Justice Center, Christina Hager, WBZ News, David, back to you. Christina, thank you.